Mobile One. This is a 99 Oldsmobile Alero. It's got a 3.5 liter. I'm used to three ones and three eights and three threes, not three fives. This is a weird one. It's really hard to find a harmonic balancer for it. This is the old harmonic balancer and the rubber that used to hold the ring on. You can see where it is here. But there's no bolt holes to get this out. It's stamped for them and they're really wide. But if you look on the back side of this thing, it's got little notches cut into it where you can use a three jaw puller. But from this side, you don't notice that. For those of you that follow along at home, you're like, man, I don't have that much. It's like the center bolts clear up into the metal. I've got this plastic thing. So there's plastic pins here, here, and here. I've got those pulled. I've got this supported by any jack necessary. And then I've got the bolts for the subframe to just kind of hang down on this one and on this one. So that's why I've got the access. And you got to rotate it so that it's just the right twist to where it'll work through there. It's touchy, but it goes. Touch and go. So here's what it looks like pulling with the three jaw puller. It's not budging a whole lot. This goes pop once every now and then. So I got the pressure on it. So rather than having the puller just get a ton of pressure, you can actually tap on these things and sometimes that'll make them pop. Got it to pop a little bit, but not a lot. I went through my bolts and I found a bolt like this for putting it back on because it's really long reach. But I think it's 14 by 1.5. And sure enough, that's what it is. This is one of the ones that I pulled out of some car engine that I junked. Then I've got a toolbox that's just chock full of stuff just like that. It's got a lot bigger gap after a couple bangs though. I think it's coming off just really slow. I think I've just about got it. I'm getting some conflict here, unfortunately, but. And we're stuck because that's as far as we can go on this bolt. Let's see, it's crying. I squirted it with a little lube. I'm gonna like destroy the bolt on that. So this one will pull through. I just need to get that one. And then that one. You gotta kind of work it in there. Totally doable. For those who are wondering who's on the toolbox and who isn't, here's what we have so far. We got Humble Mechanic, Eric the Car Guy. I bought a hat and pulled that off way back when to do that. Ozstar, Badgertronics, and uh, Gasoline, and Auto Bravado. That's D.E. Nichols, I believe. Humble Mechanic, I think I already said. And then uh, Creator Academy I got to go to. It's kind of a beta test thing. Went pretty well. If you think this is really time consuming, you're right. If you look in there, you can see I've got the longer bolt. And it's just kind of bottomed out in there. The pulley's going to land on the bolt, by the way. It's not going to fall on my shoe. So stinking long. Let's just spin this all the way back out. Just about. These don't actually take forever. It just looks and acts and feels and tastes and squawks and quacks like it. Not that that bothers me at all. I do declare I have another thing, but I don't know where. Can't get my half inch drive because one's in the truck from the. Canyonlands trip. One's in my other toolbox and one is stuck in the belt thing because they're using a half inch drive one. I don't know why. They just are. This thing's a weird duck. Okay, so we're going to pull this all the way out and then go back in just a hair. So how do you do this without an extra uh, M14 by 1.5? I don't know. Because you can't bang on this thing or else it'll mess up the thrush washer on the crankshaft. 
which is basically a skinny washer that keeps it from going in and out this way. If you hammer on it, you'll bust that thrust washer or thrust bearing. So my advice is don't. So you gotta grab. So we're pushing on the crankshaft, only the crankshaft, not crankshaft to engine pushing. If that makes any sense, you follow along. Let's see, this week I had Cub Scouts Bike Rodeo, and I was so tired. I did not have the energy for that at the time. I did it anyway, and a lot of kids' bikes are safer for it. That's all good. And then the next night I had the Sheriff's Department Award Ceremony. That was actually pretty cool. It was a little stressful getting everybody out the door and being there and being on time and finding a table, being late, and trying to find parking being late. But once we got there, it was a pretty good deal. I need to get off of this camera. The one-handed mechanic cameraman is back. I think that got it. I could do is just take out this bolt and everything come with it. That'd be cool. So the new harmonic balancer wound up having to get that to the dealership because Dorman, who usually makes them for the aftermarket, it's like this one's retarded. We don't want to touch it. And it's not very common being a 3.5. So they don't want to touch it. That being the case, I'd get it through the dealer, like I say, for a dang near $200. When you see oil on the inside, it's a good idea to put a little silicone on your nut, washer bolt, whatever on the other end. Look at that sucker. Look how long that is. Look how smooth that is. It looks like a wedding ring. Not something. That's just because the rubber's missing from it. So we're going to use this and a stack of nuts. We're going to be careful because if you go in all the way against the crank, you're done. You're out of threads. And you cause damage. Here's the one that we're working with. Here's the one that we're installing with, 14 point by 1.5. This one's about perfect length for this, by the way. What's that length? Somebody's asking from the back of the glass, a smart kid, three inches. Here's the outer ring and the rubber. Here's the new one. Should we replace the seal? Normally I wouldn't even think about doing it, I'd just do it. This one's doing fine, and I am like way the heck behind. So we're not going to, but the seal is going to go on this ring doohickey. So that has to have some grease on it. That is non-negotiable, or else the new one will leak. I'll be like, man, I should replace the seal. But it wasn't the seal, it was the putting this stuff together dry. What color is this grease? It is Molly. I'm not looking for Molly. I'm looking for synthetic green so I went with the crimson I prefer marine grade grease but whatever I just want something synthetic and stringy so we just get this started on there the best that we can and we'll try out our new bolt do it backwards see if it fits through it it doesn't I think I got a washer that big that'd be cool huh I got some big mother washers I'm seeing some promising candidates maybe kind of everything in between Oh, that'll work. Cool. Won't be like a clownfish on and off and on and off. Yeah. I can feel the same bit sticking out over all the edges. So I'm going to run with that. Let's see if we got any more going. Take one the dragon's tail. Here it is. I'm drop it. I set it. It's good. What I do is I just send this in until it kind of touches. And then I can back it off. That was too hard because it kind of went knock knock. But we're still in good shape. Everything's just really centering up nice. Why? Because I've had a rough... I don't know. This week's kicking my butt. Make sure the belt's not getting 
pinched under there on either side. That's pretty good. Let's take a look at it. That looks like it's almost done. So we're just going to switch to the factory bolt and back to 19. Don't we all wish we were 19? Just not dumb like we were when we were 19 in my case. I don't know, I wasn't that dumb. I was on 19, I was pretty sorted out, I was doing pretty good. That's when I started traveling and went in India. All good things. Oh, we are so close. How far do you go on this? I think that's about right. So what I was doing before I realized that there were notches for a three jaw puller, so I was taking this guy that looks like some kind of Egyptian hieroglyph of a vulture, and I was hooking in behind here and pulling on it, and that's how I first got to know how tight it was or how far in it was. So I think we're there. I give it a little. Yep, we're there. This is the part where I need two hands. Water pump pulley is where it's at, man. That's the one you want to pull on and off of because it's smooth. Compressor belt was not in the groove. You don't want to fire the vehicle and have it immediately start chewing the belt to pieces. Boy, if I'd have known where my bolt was, that 14 by 1.5 or even that I needed it, and if I'd have known about the three-jaw puller, I'd have been in and out of this like bam, bam, bam. Instead, I procrastinated and hesitated. Took forever to get this done. <laughs> Way longer than it should have taken. Now I'm just jacking this back up to its original position. We'll put those cross member bolts back in. I'll put that cover back on. I'll put the ridiculously highly glossified wheel back on. Don't do this before you take it into your mechanic. That's going to get all over his shirt and everything else. And if you do decide to do that, just calm down. Don't spray the whole rest of the car and the caliper and the wheel well and everywhere I'm going to be working. I don't need that. Thanks. Bless their hearts. They wouldn't have done it if they'd have known, so I'll let you know. Now you know. The best way to say thanks is poke subscribe right in the face and then click the little bell. If you want to be notified, you can be notified too. Thanks.